Good morning, class students and staff. This is Samantha and Eduardo with your morning announcements. Ms. Shaw wants to remind all virtual students that curbside library service is every Tuesday from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at the front of Killop. Just put books on hold in Destiny Discover and Ms. Shaw will have them ready for you to check out at this time. You can return at curbside service too. Attention all 7th graders, if you're still interested in joining AVID next year, don't forget to fill out and submit the application. The deadline is next week, May 7th. Application is on the school website and in Schoology. Any questions, please see Ms. Simpson or ask your teacher. The month of May recognizes the contributions and influence of Asian Americans and Pacific Islander Americans to the history, culture, and the achievements of the United States. Like most commemorative months, Asian Pacific American Heritage Month originated with Congress. The month of May was chosen to commemorate the immigration of the first Japanese to the United States on May 7, 1843, and to mark the anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad on May 10, 1869. Many of the workers who laid the tracks were Chinese immigrants. Stay tuned to the morning announcements this month as we highlight an and honor notable Asian and Pacific Islander people in American history. Continuing our staff interview series, Montserrat and Keenan interviewed Ms. Scholl, our librarian, to learn more about her and her path to Kilo. We hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Montserrat and I'm in eighth grade. Hi, I'm Keenan and I'm a seventh grader. Hi, I'm Mrs. Scholl and I am the librarian here at Kilo. What made you want to become a librarian? I wanted to become a librarian because all through college, I worked at a bookstore and I have always loved reading, but working at the bookstore, I discovered how much I love working with people and I loved working with books, but I didn't really like the sales part of it. So I thought oh, I could be a librarian and then I get to work with people and books and that would be the perfect combination for me. What is your go-to book that you can read over and over again? Actually, I don't like to read books over and over again. I'm one of those people who if I've read it once, I'm pretty good with it. But there is a particular book that I might just read a little section because it's funny. And that book is called Portofino. And it's also one of my go-to books that I recommend to my friends if they want a book that's funny and touching and just a great story. And it is fantastic. What makes it so fantastic then? It's got a lot of things that I can relate to with the main character. Even though it's a humorous story, it's still got some touching parts and, and the characters are just very well developed. They, they have depth. There's more to them than just being funny. You get to see, you get to see deep into the characters and I like that. Oh, okay, okay. Has a book ever changed your life? Ooh, that is a great question. I have recently finished two books. It's a, so it's a book and it's sequel by Octavia Butler. The first one is The Parable of the Sower. And then the sequel is The Parable of the Talents. And they're science fiction books set like in the 2020s, but they were written like back in the 1990s. And I was really, really surprised at how well the author was able to kind of predict some things that I was like, whoa, she must have had a crystal ball to think of that happening. Like, even though I finished that book three or four weeks ago, I still think about it and it's still, you know, rattling around in my head. So whenever I read a book like that, I feel like it does change my life. It certainly impacts the way I think and look at things. Have you ever thought of joining or creating a book club? Well, actually, when I got to Kilo, they already had in place the staff student book club. 
And I love the idea of the staff student book club because it's a staff member pairing up with a student to choose a book, to read together and talk about, but really it's a way for staff members and students to become friends, you know, just outside of classroom. So I didn't start that book club, but I have participated in it over the years and it's always fun and rewarding. I get to read great books through the book club, but more importantly, I get to know some of the students better. I love it. Do you have any hobbies? Of course, I love to read, but in addition to that, I love to sing in my church choir. I've been singing in the choir at my church for about 20 years. I've had to take time off because of the pandemic, but I expect to start back up hopefully in May since I got my vaccination and all that. I love to sing in choir. It's so much fun. Have you ever like gone off script in your choir, like made your own songs? No, I'm not that talented. I totally wish I could. One of the things that I love about choir is the way like all of the parts fit together. And that's like part of the strength of the choir is that each group, the sopranos or the altos, the tenors and the basses, they are all doing their part together sounding like one voice so that when you put all the parts together, it sounds like four parts or or sometimes more. So that's part of the power is that everybody is doing what they're supposed to do. And that way you show how the composer fit it all together. And it's amazing how the music can fit with the words to paint a picture. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us in this wonderful interview that you gave us. Thank you guys. It was so much fun. And I can't wait to see it when it airs. Thank you to Michelle and thank you, Kelly students and staff, and have a fruitful Friday.